Well, some morale's black from TV. Congratulations, Ruth. You know, uh, how does it feel to be the second costume designer in the history of Hollywood to get a Walk of Fame? It feels like a long time coming. Like, what is the problem here? We have some great costume designers that came before me and during during me. Uh, but I'm honored, you know, beyond honored to um, to take the lead uh, to open up the gate again. Uh, Edith Head was the first, and I'm the second. Certainly, there were a number in between the two of us and. So I, I don't know what or why, but thank you. Thank you for giving it to me. The doors are keep opening, you know, in the last five years, as I look at the work you've done throughout your career, you know, between Roots, Black Panther, Dolomite and coming to America, how challenging has it been when you get these big projects and you have to come up with designs, not for just one character, but for many characters? Yeah, I guess I got kind of used to being in that world and I know how to organize uh, myself and my ideas and organize the costume department. I mean, I did that on Malcolm X and that was my first big film. And we had a, a, a building uh, at the 40 Acres uh, Spikes Company had bought. It was an old parking garage and it was like the Malcolm X department store. The 20s was on the first floor and it went all the way up to the 60s on the top floor. So, you know, organizing uh, big, uh, big biopics or, you know, creating new worlds is not, uh, not a stranger to me. And so you just take it one step at a time. You just chip at it little by little. Mm -hmm. When you think about, when, you, when I talk about this movie, Coming to America, is there any particular character that you had fun designing the costume for? Oh, completely. Um, okay, all of them. Can I say that? Uh, <laughs> Wesley, uh, we made a kilt out of black kente. Um, I would say Akeem was uh, a joy to do uh, in terms of his athletic look. You know, in the first one, he has a polo look. And so I couldn't give him that same polo look 30 years later. So I gave him a golfing look with a hat. And, and you know, people dress up in the Coming to America costume. So it was important to have fun and really like what you're doing and create these characters. We did Brandy Watson. I mean, how much fun is that? So uh, there, I could go down a whole list of having fun. I think by the time I was done, I was so drained of energy and creative thought that, you know, I needed a serious <laughs> break. <laughs> <laughs> you know. When you're not working, and I ask this of composers, you know, do you come up with sketches that you hope that will land in a film? He goes, I already got it made. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, I paint in between. I have to sort of keep the, a creative flow going. I study like color theory, come, uh, palettes. I'm always challenged to figure out how to color mix and color blend you know, how two colors come together and create a, another beautiful color. So I mean, I never feel like I'm good at that. And so I uh -huh. do that with costumes. And when I'm not working, I do that with paint. What do you say to people, you know, who are trying to follow you, you know, in terms of they see the longevity that you've had in this business, you know, and it's not easy getting work, you know? So what do you tell people in terms of like what they should be doing uh, to stay in a game, you know, and to try to get work one way or the other. I think that you've got to realize that you have to create a network. Um, uh, Spike hadn't even, um, uh, she's got to have it, hadn't gone to Cannes Film Festival when I met Spike Lee. Um, you know, I, we created a, a filmmaking family. Uh, I bounced back and forth between New York and LA for 10 years doing independent films. And so, you know, you, you, even though you can see the stars, you can shoot for them, but it takes really one step at a time to get there. You really do have to be a student of your passion. You have to study your craft. You have to make the moves and the moves will eventually stack up and you'll, you'll find yourself making bigger strides and taking bigger steps into the right direction, but you have to start. You have to start and you can't think that you know everything. I think mm -hmm. that's one big mistake. We wanna 
we want to dive in the deep end of the pool before we know how to swim. And so learn the strokes, learn the learn, learn how to swim and then jump in. You're setting the path that we're, many will follow. Once again, congratulations. I would look Thank forward you. to seeing more of your work down the road. So keep it going. Have Thank a good one. Thank you so much. You too. Take care.